All right, so we just got to PetSmart, and I literally haven't seen the baby lion in two days, so it's finally time to pick our little friend. Now, up. I must say there were quite a bit of dogs there, but the girl finally goes to the back and enters the baby lion's cage. And out comes Kobe, the fluffiest dog in the world, and honestly, I just can't wait to grab his little face. Anyways, the baby lion's looking a little confused, but he finally comes out the door, fully makes eye contact with me, looks the other way, and then I call his name, and that's when he fully loses control. As soon as he realized who it was, he started screaming and jumping, and things were getting pretty wild, only until we got and home. And I think that's when the baby lion realized something was different, because he kept looking around the house as if he was searching for something or someone. So I tried distracting him with his favorite ball, but that didn't really work because every few minutes he would jump on me. And then out of nowhere for the first time ever, the baby lion actually put his face on my hand so I can scratch under his face. And to say the least, he was absolutely loving and it. And so I kind of felt bad and told the baby lion and that's when I FaceTimed the sloth. And by the way, she says hi to all of you. Anyway, shortly after Mother Goose was petting the baby lion and we were all sitting down watching the Toronto Raptors unfortunately get kicked out of the playoffs. And let me tell you, I was not the only one who didn't want to see that. Bob the Builder took Kobe out for a walk and it was time for us to sit down and decide what we're going to do for his birthday.